A Minnesota-based aviation upstart just jumped into a $16 billion contest to build training jets for the U.S. Air Force. The odds are long that Stavati Aerospace will win, but perhaps not as long as the last time Stavati tried to disrupt America's military aircraft industry. When Stavati first made headlines nearly a decade ago, the privately held company was the industrial equivalent of an internet troll, spreading titillating graphics depicting futuristic airplanes it stood little chance of ever producing. So far, Stavati's airplanes are all the aerial equivalent of vaporware. All hype. But the warplane market has changed since 2009. Small companies building clever planes stand a better chance today than they did then, and that could boost Stavati's prospects from impossible to merely highly unlikely. The Air Force wants to buy 350 training planes to replace its 1960s vintage T-38s. On deck. 30, 2016. The flying branch formally asked the U.S. aerospace industry for proposals. The goal, to acquire trainers that can better prepare pilots for the latest F-22 and F-35 stealth fighters. TX is a program we've got to get right, Air Force Chief of Staff General. Dave Goldfein said in a statement. All the major aerospace firms worked on prototypes. Several dropped out, leaving America's top two defense contractors, Lockheed Martin and Boeing, to duke it out. Lockheed based in Maryland, is offering the T-50, a nimble, single-tail jet it co-developed with a South Korean firm. Chicago-based Boeing teamed up with Swedish company Saab to devise a twin-tail plane. Both the Lockheed and Boeing jets are supersonic and have two seats and one engine. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe.